So today we're going to talk about making Excel mobile uh, and kind of setting that up, which I think is very important. It opens up a lot of possibilities for Excel that weren't necessarily possible before. And it also kind of replaces a lot of the apps that you have on your mobile device now. Uh, so the, the content of this is actually a weight tracker. It's something that makes it a little easier uh, to track your healthy lifestyle where um, you can include things like weight or blood pressure uh, or even meal times. So you have this ability to track what's going on and then the ability to go back to it later and have your freedom in an analyzing that information. So uh, right here we have date, time, and weight, and the, the time is a.m. or p.m., uh, so it's really just a morning or afternoon kind of thing, uh, which is all that's necessary for this particular design. So this spreadsheet is saved to OneDrive. So I can access this through my computer, which is where we are now, or through OneDrive, which I'll have a demonstration of that uh, in just a moment. But what you have to note when you're making a spreadsheet mobile is that mobile does not have full capability. So I can't put in any kind of data validation, which I love to do. I would love that AM or PM is in a drop-down box, but we can't do that in mobile. We can't handle that. It won't be able to edit the spreadsheet. So you kind of have to make it a bare-bones spreadsheet. This can't be a table. So if I go to insert and, and to table, that will also make it not editable from the mobile device, uh, as well as pivot tables, charts, um, any kind of VBA or macros. They can't handle it. So try to make your spreadsheets as bare-bones as possible as far as features are concerned and make them strictly data entry. Uh, we'll, we'll talk another time about actually making uh, a more progressive tool out of this basic and generic spreadsheet. So the entire workbook has to be free of these different features in order for uh, Office Mobile or Excel Mobile to be able to handle editing and modifying this spreadsheet. So let's get started into the demonstration of how I will then interact with this spreadsheet. First, let's start with the Office Mobile app where we have the OneDrive connected and then we have an Excel folder where we have the weight tracker. So I'll go ahead and click on that and we go down to select the next cell. But then you also in the function bar can input text um, where we'll put the date in for now. Um, but you also can double click a cell. So let's go ahead and just double click the next cell uh, and input AM. So when you double click your cursor still goes up to the function bar in the same way. Uh, and then once you're done typing obviously you hit the done key uh, at the top right and then you hit the office icon at the top left in order to exit that document and then save. So that document was now saved. Um, so let's go ahead and close that. And you can also go through the same way. Uh, you can get to OneDrive, uh, click on the Excel folder, and click on the document. As long as you have Office loaded to your mobile device, you can go into that same document and it'll open up Excel for you. So if you found this video helpful, please subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments or send me a message and I'll get back to you. Thank you.